from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. Now, after months of investigating hundreds of complaints, Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody filed a lawsuit against Olympus Pools and its owner, James Staten. According to the Attorney General investigation, they've received more than 200 complaints since March, and the damage amounts to more than $8 million. Investigators found Olympus misrepresented timelines of projects, sometimes never completing the work and leaving giant holes on properties. The investigation also found Olympus failed to pay subcontractors. The of a lawsuit filed in Hillsborough County today aims to ban Staten from the pool construction business and provide reimbursement for those customers. Fewer items and higher prices, that sums up the supply chain bottleneck we've all experienced since the start of this pandemic. It's limited our access to everyday necessities, slow down deliveries, and with the holiday shopping season approaching, President Joe Biden announced a new plan to get things back on track. Two main shipping ports are expanding to 24-7 operation. Also, Samsung and UPS announced they will also be working around the clock to try and help the backlog. But for now, there will likely be some shortages and high prices, especially during the holidays. How about a Bucks watch party on the beach? The Bucks Beach Bash kicks off at the Trade Winds in St. Pete Beach tomorrow night. There will be a tailgate and happy hour party, and then you can watch the Bucks take on the Eagles on the big screen on the beach. Then on Friday and Saturday, there will be concerts, pool parties, a cornhole tournament, and fireworks again right on the beach. And all of the events are free. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? Still tracking a couple of scattered showers moving across the area through the evening, ending in the overnight hours. And more of the same on Thursday. Broke a record high for the second straight day on Wednesday. Hit 92 degrees in Tampa. The previous record was 91. Overnight, once the shower is clear and there won't be a lot, they'll be long gone by tomorrow morning. Another very mild and muggy start to your day, but it will be rain-free. Sunshine continues right on through the afternoon with a couple of storms in in the afternoon, but certainly not widespread. More of the same on Friday. By the weekend, a front's going to come through. It will not ruin any beach plans. It'll be a dry front, and with that, lower humidity returns by late Sunday and into early next week. So look at your forecast. Florida's most accurate seven-day rain chances remain rather slim. 10, maybe 15 percent again Thursday and Friday. That front comes through into the weekend, bumping down our afternoon highs early next week, as well as our humidity levels.